Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Chemical Engineering Man. In this lecture, we will discuss about the manufacturing of urea. So, manufacturing of urea on large scale. So, first of all, we will know about what is urea. So, urea is an organic compound. It is organic compound. It was first prepared by Frederick Wohler in 1828. It consists of a carbonyl functional group. CO carbonyl functional group. Uh, its formula structure formula is NH2 CO NH2. So this is the par carbonyl functional group. The carbonyl functional group is attached to two amine functional group. So two amine functional group. Uh, the molecular formula of urea is uh, NH2 CO NH2. This is the molecular formula. The molecular word of urea can be obtained from the molecular formula of urea. So, the nitrogen, the mass number of nitrogen is 14, 2 hydrogen, 1 carbon, and 1 oxygen, 1 nitrogen, and 2 hydrogen. So, it is 60 gram per mole. Uh, so, now, what is the percentage of nitrogen in uh, urea? So, uh, there are two atom of nitrogen. This nitrogen this one and this one. So, 14 plus 14, 28 gram of nitrogen and 60 gram of urea. So, from this we can obtain that the percentage of nitrogen in urea is 56.67. Now, what are the raw material for the manufacturing of urea? Usually, there are two raw material. One is ammonia, NH3. And the other raw material is carbon dioxide gas. So, the liquid ammonia and the carbon dioxide gas. Uh, now, this is the flow diagram for ammonia manufacturing for the uh, urea manufacturing process. So, first of all, this is the liquid ammonia. The liquid ammonia. This is the liquid ammonia. So, first of all, we will pump. This is a pump, centrifugal pump. We will pump liquid ammonia with the help of pump to the reaction tower. This is the reactor. So here, this is the heart of the uh, uh, urea plant. So the uh, um, uh, liquid ammonia will form to the reactor and it will react with carbon dioxide gas. Now this carbon dioxide gas, we first of all, we will compress. This is the compressor. compressor. So the compressor increases the temperature and pressure of carbon dioxide gas. So this carbon dioxide gas will come from the bottom and the ammonia, liquid ammonia will come from the top. So the ammonia and carbon dioxide gas will react and it will produce ammonium carbonate. Ammonium carbonate. This is ammonium carbonate. Ammonium carbonate. Its formula is NH3COOH4. So the ammonium carbonate solution. This is the ammonium carbonate solution. Again the ammonium carbonate solution will pump with the help of centrifugal pump to the evaporator. This is the evaporator. In this evaporator, we will concentrate the ammonium carbonate solution. So, here we will give some heat. We will give some heat to the ammonium carbonate solution. And after heating the ammonium carbonate solution, some volatile component like ammonia carbon dioxide, ammonia and carbon dioxide will remove from the ammonium carbonate solution. The main function of evaporator is to concentrate the ammonium carbonate solution. So, this ammonia and carbon dioxide will again go to the reactor. These are the unreacted. These two are the unreacted ammonia and carbon dioxide. So, the unreacted ammonia and carbon dioxide will go again to the reactor. It will further react and uh, it will give us the ammonium carbonate. Now, this ammonium carbonate after heating in this evaporator will go to the granulation block. So, this is the granulation, this is the pump. So, after uh, evaporation of the ammonium carbonate solution, we will get a lot of urea. So, here we will get most mostly urea. So, this is urea. NH2CO, NH2. But there will be some, in, this will be in liquid form. So, uh, in this granulation block, we will again we will heat. 
the liquid urea will give we will heat the liquid urea to remove water vapor from the urea so water vapor will remove from water vapor and some other impurity will remove from the liquid urea and we will get the uh, we will get the urea the dry urea this urea will then go to the uh, packing section so this is the uh, flow chart simple flow chart about the urea manufacturing processes now what uh, what are the reaction so first of all uh, uh, from here we can get the ammonia so ammonia can be obtained from the Haber process so the Haber and Haber process the nitrogen and one mole of nitrogen will react with three mole of hydrogen at 450 degrees centigrade and 200 atmospheric pressure these two gases will react and that will give us the ammonia gas then this nitrogen now how the uh, above nitrogen how this nitrogen is obtained this this nitrogen is obtained from the uh, fractional distillation of air so we can separate nitrogen from air because air consists of about 78 percent uh, nitrogen and 21 percent oxygen so this nitrogen is obtained from the fractional distillation of air so now how the hydrogen is obtained in the Haber process so it is obtained uh, from methane and steam so when methane react with steam uh, when methane react with hot steam uh, on the surface of nickel catalyst that will give us carbon monoxide gas and hydrogen gas so this hydrogen gas is obtained from the methane gas now uh, second uh, the raw material is carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide gas can be produced from the methane from the combustion of methane so methane reacts with oxygen and it gives us carbon dioxide water vapor and heat so this is exothermic reaction a lot of people remove so uh, carbon dioxide is obtained from the uh, uh, methane nitrogen is obtained from the air and hydrogen is obtained from the uh, Methane. So, hydrogen is obtained from the also obtained from the methane on the nickel catalyst surface. So, now, now uh, the reaction. Now, what what are the reaction? Uh, what are the basic reactions for the manufacturing of ammonia? So, first of all, the reaction of ammonium carbon dioxide. So, these two raw material will react in the reactor as we have already discussed in the reactor this is the reactor ammonia and carbon dioxide gas will react in this reactor and ammonium carbonate will produce so the gaseous ammonia will be uh, will be liquefied and it will convert it into the liquid ammonia so first of all the ammonia the liquid ammonia, this is liquid ammonia. This is liquid ammonia which we have pumped with the help of centrifugal pump. So this ammonia will react with the carbon dioxide gas which we have compressed with the help of compressor at 200 degrees centigrade and 200 atmospheric pressure. We will get the ammonium carbonate solution. So ammonium carbonate solution. This is ammonium carbonate solution. So then the ammonium carbonate solution then we will heat the ammonium carbonate solution this is ammonium carbonate solution we will heat it and we will get the urea plus uh, water so we will get the urea plus some liquid water so uh, when the ammonium carbonate solution is heated in this evaporator we will get urea liquid urea plus some liquid water some liquid water uh, in this evaporator so this urea plus liquid water will then pump to the granulation block so in granulation block again we will heat the liquid urea and we will get the dry urea and water vapor so and in the evaporator we are heating the ammonium carbonate solution to get the urea solution so uh, we are heating uh, so ammonium carbonate solution is produced in this step and 
after that we are heat we will heat the aluminum carbonate solution so we will get the urea plus liquid water here. then we will uh, heat the uh, uh, so urea which is in the solution form we will heat the urea and we will get the dry urea and water vapor water vapor so in this cremation block we will heat by steam or some other source heating source so we will get the dry urea and water vapor which is in the last reaction so this is the water this is the water vapor and urea and this urea will then go to baking section so this was all about the how the manufacturing of and the of urea process thank you very much for your attention if you are new to channel please like and subscribe